Why, hello everyone. <laughs> Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I brought Psychic Damien with me over here in the brand spanking new community called Quail Cove by KB Homes, which is a single family, three story community, a new product by KB Homes. And we're touring the models, getting recognized, which feels pretty good. Um, so they have four, four plans to choose from and four of them modeled, which is pretty, pretty awesome. We're going to take a tour of the 2226, or they call it plan 2226. This has three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage starting price out at $524,990. That's just the base price. It does not include lot premiums or any structural options or upgrades. Um, and as you know, there's also three different types of elevation, which is the different exterior options you have for your home. So not all homes look so much cookie cutter, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So they just opened up last week. They released 12 lots and sold six of them. Pretty already amazing. Happened. Already. Mm -hmm. Um, they do have five moving ready homes available as well as seven dirt lots where you can build from ground up. Uh, this is not a gated community. They're going to have a total of 144 lots. Monthly HOA for this community is $95. Summerlin West is $60. And then the SIDS is $236 every six months. I forgot to mention that in my last video, but that's okay. Let's go take a peek at this. Ooh, I like this entry. Yeah. It's wider. It's wider. And they use the tile, wood like tile, tile flooring with a nice large closet. Yeah, this one feels bigger, even yeah. though it's smaller than the last one. So this one is an option of having it as a den or you can convert it into a full bedroom. I mean, yeah, full bedroom with a full bathroom, right? They modeled it. So um, it looks like they modeled it with the builder grade options. This is a builder grade tub shower or shower insert. And this looks like a cultured marble, which is builder grade. So we will see what everything else looks like. And then it has also another decent size walk-in closet, which is great. I can't believe they've already sold Six now, of the 12. Yeah, with these houses, they're similar to a scent over there in the Red Point Square Village where the front is your front door and then the garage is in the back of the house and you're not going to have any yard or yards, no yard, right? Yeah, low maintenance. Low maintenance. And I've done a video recently on all three-story home communities in Summerlin. Of course, at the time when I did the video, this community was not open. So you can check it out. Pretty cool. I don't know how I feel about the kitchen being right up here. Exactly right where you first walk upstairs. Yeah. But I do like the waterfall island. I like having a longer island than a fatter island. Um, don't you? Yeah, I do. I like the one. And I like too. this. I don't know if this is an upgraded option. But a lot of storage use, though. Yeah. And the nice large pantry. Love these pantries. And then here's the inside of the island, double oven. the double oven. So when you buy from ground up and you build your own, there's going to be different kinds of options. You're going to have a appliance package. You're going to have cabinet package. You get to pick your countertops, your flooring, etc. So it looks like with this one, they went with a double oven with a microwave above the cooktop, which, you know, a lot of people don't like having this microwave above the cooktop. I mean, I know it's nice to have a double oven, but if I were me, I would make sure I put it both right, the microwave right there. Or even right, you put a... Yeah, but I don't know here, if the builders do that. Especially since how big the... Yeah, but I don't know if the builders do yeah. that as an option. So this is a large double basin sink. And then all Whirlpool appliances. And they continued with the wood-like tile flooring throughout. Another... Thing when you buy from ground up. Most of the builders will put carpet throughout the entire house with exception of the wet areas like your kitchen, 
bathrooms, and laundry room. If you were gonna spend money, the two areas I would spend money, or actually three, one would be flooring. I would make sure I spend that extra money, maybe get a luxury vinyl plank, which is in trend right now, and then your lighting, your electrical package. Get pendant lights, get extra recessed lighting. I would spend extra money on the electrical, and then also, of course, the upgraded cabinets. I would make sure that they are soft closed cabinets. Oh, those are, so that's good. Soft closed cabinets and of course the beautiful either quartz or the new trend is porcelain or whatever they oh, have yeah, available. Um, so that, you know, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Let's see, what's yeah, over here? The, the pre-wires for ceiling fans yeah, and stuff too. So that's part of your electrical package. Make sure every room has a pre-wire for a ceiling fan. I like this little treatment that they did. And then they do have a half bath right here, which is nice to have. And then the dining room area. And they also have a balcony off the main living space. Which is pretty cool. It's a nice day. Beautiful day. I love that mountain right there. Now, depending on where your home's positioned, you may get some city views and definitely may get some um, actually valley views and maybe some mountain views, just depends on where this home is located. I can't believe they've already sold six lots. And this was pre-selling. Yeah, it was like their pre-sales was what they did mm -hmm. before the community opened and a lot of builders like doing that. So now we're gonna go to the third floor. And this has all carpeting. Oh, cool. All right, so this is the laundry room. And when you buy a new construction, the appliances like the washer and dryer and refrigerator do not come with the house. So this one is modeled with the loft. So it's only a three bedroom house, but you could make this into a fourth bedroom with a full size bathroom. Now usually when you pick out your structural options you can pick to have another sink right here and I highly recommend having a double sink for resale purposes and then they just use the uh, cultured marble for the surround which is better than that generic surround that they would use downstairs. I like the loft option and then here is bedroom number two. Decent size. And this has carpet. We live in the desert. Most home buyers do not like to have carpet anywhere. So that's why I say it's worth the investment to ensure that the entire house has no carpet at all. And if you were to, only make sure that the bedrooms have carpeting nowhere else. So this is a decent sized primary bedroom and it looks like it has a decent sized walk-in closet. I like that they put that tile on um, as a backdrop on the wall. And then here is the primary bathroom. It's kind of small. And here they didn't do anything fancy with tiles. They just showed you what you could do with the generic cultured marble insert with the double vanity and then a separate toilet area as well. I like the ceilings. I think they're probably about nine, nine feet. Foot. Yeah, mm -hmm. nine foot ceilings. So to summarize, we're taking a tour over here at Quell Cove by KB Homes in the Kestrel Commons Village. We're looking at plan 2226, which is 2226 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage. Starting price is $524,990. Now, if you are interested in this community, it's important that you bring your own real estate agent with you on the very first visit. I sell a lot of new construction in Summerlin and in the Las Vegas Valley. I am your new home sales expert. You can call me at 702-370-5112. It's important that you call me folks because I know all the builders and I know their reps, right? Yes, you do. You're an expert as well. Yep. Anyway, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. subscribe. See you on the flip side.